Anti-gay discrimination, not a qualification for asylum, says Suella Braverman. Yeah, says Suella Braverman. Um, and probably most of the world that isn't insane. Because I have one very simple question for you, ladies and gentlemen. If you disagree with Suella Braverman and you think, yeah, anyone who says people are being mean to them because they're gay, anyone who says that should be granted asylum in Europe. Uh, if you think that, I have one very simple question for you. How are we going to check it? There's a, there's a good 5 billion people in the developing world that would love to move to Europe. If simply saying, because I'm gay in it, is enough to guarantee an asylum claim, no matter where you come from, how do we confirm it? What do you want us to do? Have their entrance interview, and then what? Wheel? Just wheel a bloke in? Oh, you gay, are you, Mr. Mohammed? Um, Stelios, Stelios. In comes Stelios. Uh, you know what to do, Mr. Moore. You know what to do. I do not understand. Well, you've got to prove it. You've got to prove it. Drain him. <laughs> Drain him. Come now. Come now. I mean, if you happen to be homosexual, you'd be more than comfortable, won't you? You know what to do. You best chug down a pint of throat yoghurt to prove <laughs> your claims. Or unfortunately, we can't give you the free house. What do you think they're going to do? Not only will they lie about it, depends how big the free house is, they might be willing to do it. <laughs> hey, I'm a tight northerner. Throw enough money in my direction, I'll go to town on Stelios. Okay, that was quite a long... <laughs> that was quite a long monologue to open with, but I was just riffing. The point I'm getting at is, I don't think anybody with two brain cells to rub together thinks this is unreasonable. But the BBC is presenting, it, is presenting it as if it's the worst thing ever. Let's have a read. Anti-gay discrimination, not a qualification for asylum, says Suella Braverman. Fearing discrimination for being gay or a woman should not be enough to qualify for international refugee protection, the UK Home Secretary has said. Or being a woman. Like you can just rock up wherever you want and go, uh, I'm a woman, give me a house. <laughs> okay then, easy. We can definitely afford that. We can't house people now. I don't think having a pair of threepenny bits is quite a vigorous enough vetting procedure, do you? Addressing a think tank on Tuesday, Suella Braverman questioned whether the application of the UN's Refugee Convention is fit for our modern age. Laws have morphed from helping those fleeing persecution to those fearing bias, she argued. Labour accused her of having given up on fixing the asylum system. Fixing it. Well, how do you propose we fix it? Miracle man. Literally, the only person who could fix our asylum system is Jesus H. Christ. We haven't got an endless amount of space and money and houses and food and clothing and sewage systems. Do you know how much administration is required to keep human beings comfortable? We haven't got it. If people were solar powered, maybe we could do it. Maybe we could just plant all of the asylum seekers in fields, stick the legs in the soil, turn on the solar-powered foreheads and just leave them there. If we did that, we could probably take in another... Well, even then we couldn't take in billions, could we? Probably take in another 50 million. Just plant them all in all the fields of England. Uh, but they don't do that. They do things like shit. They do things like, you know, need educating. They eat. They use the roads. They, use, they go and see the dentist. We can't just take in everybody, and I'm not being funny here, of what percentage of the 8 billion people who don't live in Europe would like to live in Europe? Quite a large one. Legendary plank Yvette Cooper accused the Home Secretary of using gay people and women. <laughs> and women, yeah. She is one. She is one, for starters. It's not... See, they love to make out as if everything's a niche characteristic. Being woman, it's not really niche, is it? 51% of the entire planet happen to be women. It's not like some little tiny niche minority group that's being persecuted. It's women. At one point a few years ago, we had the Queen, a female Home Secretary, a female Prime Minister, Theresa May, a female Scottish Prime Minister, Nicola Sturgeon. Even the Metropolitan Police Commissioner was a woman. They keep talking about, ooh, women. They were running everything. If the chief of the police and the queen and all the prime ministers are women, you can't sit there and go, ooh, women, they've got no power. They are the power. 
What are you going to do? Put the Home Secretary and the Queen and the Prime Minister in front of me and say, look at you oppressing them all, you little miserable hairy bastard. Doesn't work that way. They're in charge, not me. One of them's in charge of the biggest police force in Europe, and one of them can't even get his bloody missus to make him a cup of tea. Who's got the power? Sorry, I was kidding. My missus is a good egg, and she makes me tea quite regularly. You don't let her see this video. The Home Secretary told an audience at the right-wing American Enterprise Institute that we now live in a completely different time from when the convention was signed. As case laws developed, we've seen in practice is an interpretive shift away from persecution in favour of something more akin to a definition of discrimination. 100% correct. This is a non-story. Who cares? I was drawn to it by a tweet from Mr. Nice But Dim, Tim Farron. It's fine to send someone back into the arms of despots and murderers, just as long as we're sticking it to the work brigade. That's the main thing. Despicable and predictable, yeah! Tim, nice but dim, what a plank that man is. Like every single person who turns up in Europe and says, oh uh, yeah, I'm mega into work, cock me, like yeah, 100%. Is fleeing a murderer. <laughs> it's beyond lunacy. And I've talked about stories like this in the past. There was a famous one in the BBC where this girl got asylum for being a lesbian. But she had a husband and she had two kids. Considering she claimed to be a lesbian, she seemed to have a strange penchant for hot cock action. Anyway, let me know what you think. To me, Braveman's simply applied an ounce of common sense. And this is a non-story, as usual. But I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments and I will see you all very soon. Toodle pip.